Stress doesn't, stress doesn't resonate with me. <laughs> stress doesn't, stress doesn't, stress doesn't resonate with us because we're too free for that shit, bitch. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel! Another Tuesday, another video. Um, so this last week I was very, very sick. I came down with a cold. And so I basically have been like stuck inside this last week, just working on like stuff for the exhibition that I'm curating that's coming up um, in like one week. Um, I normally, like, I used to be somebody that would, like, stress out about those types of things, like, big events and things like that, um, especially when I'm the one that's, like, organizing it, but now I sort of feel like stress isn't something that really resonates with me anymore. <laughs> you guys must be like, oh, how nice, stress doesn't resonate with her. <laughs> Um, but that's like something that I've trained myself like to do over time and I'll like talk about that I feel like some people like um, feed off of stress and negative energies and I used to be somebody like that like especially like in my waitressing days I'd be like I'm so stressed like I need to get this table and, and like, there was this sort of like energy that I got from that but it's so draining and I just want to be somebody that <laughs> walks in the light of the truth which is you can decide how you feel and like that can be like your home base and I want my home base to just be like zen so fuck that I'm not stressed but anyway I have basically been stuck inside because like you know I was sick I didn't want to go out so I really do want to go outside today um and just like explore a little bit I feel like the last vlog that I did where we went out together on that really sunny day on the Saint Louis was like so fun and I want to keep doing videos like those because they just bring me so much joy and they inspire me to go out I found this cafe in my quartier that I really love that my friend Aude showed me and it looks like a cafe from like out of an 80s French movie and I think I'm gonna go there and then I'm also going back to the US for December for Christmas for the first time in 10 years <laughs> so I thought that like I might like walk around and look for um, maybe just like some things for my family to bring back, like macaroons, like that kind of stuff. I was asking like my family, like what do they want me to bring them from Paris? And my brother-in-law, he's like, I want duck. Cause he came here once and he had like really amazing duck, I guess. And I was like, is that weird? Is that like totally girl interrupted if I put like a duck? <laughs> if I put a duck in my suitcase and bring it to the US with me, like some weird ass girl and security is gonna be like, why do you have like a like a duck in your bag? Um so yeah, I think I'm just gonna like stick to macaroons. And yeah, something that I've been doing in the mornings, it's really been helping me. A lot of you guys like sort of said in my last video that I seem more like uplifted, and I think a really big reason for that is um before bed in the mornings, I've been meditating. And whenever I used to think of meditating, I thought it was just like sitting silent and just like, hmm, you know? And just like closing your eyes and all that shit. Which to me, like as somebody who has like very, I don't wanna say I have like a short attention span, but I like to do a lot of things at once. Like that sounds like horrible to me, just like sit still. Um, but my idea behind like meditating changed and basically for me now I look at it as just like Being quiet with yourself like not having any sound on in the background like just being in a room by yourself with no sound on and um, That's been like I you think I that was something that like 
I did more actively maybe before when I first moved into this apartment just because when you move into a new space like you don't need distractions because everything's so new to you and I'm just like oh like just being in this space was enough but I think that like when you go through difficult times you often times feel like you need that buffer because being alone with your thoughts can be very it can be a lot you know but I'm really training myself to be alone with my thoughts and that's been like bringing up a lot of really good ideas for me for example um, the idea for my next book that I'm gonna be working on next year which I'm really excited to share with you guys um, probably like in a couple months I'll start talking about it um, I'm really somebody that likes to focus on one project at a time so I want to like finish my EP which I think I'll probably be like early to mid next year that'll come out um, and then I'll start working on the book yeah anyway that's been something that's really helped to me as well as I've gotten back into affirmations I feel like it sounds like such a <laughs> like I don't know spiritual guru thing to do to do affirmations but when I stop doing them I really notice a difference in my mood and when I do do them I feel so much more inspired um, so I'm going to share with you guys some affirmations, then I'm going to take you to my new favorite cafe, and then we're going to walk around because it's like getting into the Christmas time feeling. I have like, I'm like all suited up. I feel very happy today, so we're going to go out again. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Here are some affirmations to start us off uh, today. Let me know if you have any favorite affirmations down below, and then we're going to head out into the jungle of Paris, baby. Okay. Let's start. I am a safe space for myself and others. I am a safe space for myself and others. This is like my favorite affirmation. I'm not gonna like break down every affirmation, but this one is one of my favorites right now. <laughs> Just because like feeling like you can trust yourself and that you're a safe space for yourself it just feels really nice and it's like you're a sanctuary I like to I started thinking of like my even like my food as a medicine like everything I put on my body is a medicine everything I consume is like a medicine all right next all the right opportunities are floating to me they're floating to me oh my god I just caught one oh my god oh what oh, a new house I'll take it oh what another Oh, no, I'll tell you. I don't know. I am grateful for all the life I've lived and will live. I'm grateful for all the life that I've lived and will live. This is one of my favorites too because I feel like gratitude is like the highest level mood you can be in. And when you keep your energy high, no matter what life throws at you, I think that's why I was saying like I don't resonate with stress anymore because no matter what like my mood doesn't depend on external factors you know and so no matter what happens like I'm still gonna be here because those things are in a low vibration and so, <laughs> so they can't touch me you know what I mean I am love light and pure bliss everyone around me loves me and wants the best for me <laughs> this is one of my favorites because it's also like a little bit delusional in a way like i just walk down the street i'm like everyone loves me oh my god electrician man who's gonna fix my electricity you just love me and you want the best for me anyway like obviously like there's bad people out there in the world but i like to believe that for the most part everyone loves me and wants the best for me I have an unlimited supply of creative energy. Like an, an unlimited supply. I am making a difference in the world by being myself. <laughs> I am making a difference in the world by being myself. Love it. Okay. I hope that you guys. <laughs> I'm not even, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not even. Ah, oh, this stupid camera. I, I thought you wanted the best for me <laughs> That's why it's kind of funny too when like something bad happens as well Like I'm just like what the hell universe. I thought we were like decided on this like I thought we had an agreement, you know Anyway, 
let's head out as you can see like i still have like a bit of a cold so i don't know if we're gonna like go super hard today but let's enjoy this city let's go out uh let's i'm gonna take you to my cafe maybe we'll meet the love of our life today if i'm at a cafe and the love of my life comes up and he like sits down i'll like film myself and i'll be like oranges oranges oh my god he's here wouldn't that be crazy if like i was vlogging and when I was vlogging, I met like the love of my life. That would be like so crazy. Okay, anyway, let's go! Rose blanche de vigne, un ballet de fleurs sous-marines. Elle flotte et danse au ralenti. Quelle histoire, quelle histoire. our day this morning <laughs> so I went to my favorite boulangerie to get my salad and my soup and the line was long as fuck by the way and so by the time that I got up there to pay they're like oh we have a problem with our card machine so I like already ordered everything so anyway I have to run over to my bank get money out to go back and pay um, welcome to France you know <laughs> But whenever something like that happens, I always like to think that maybe, like it seems like a minor inconvenience, but maybe like I have a guardian angel that is having this happen so that I'm not in another place at another time. For example, maybe this hiccup is saving me from like being in the middle of the road, like during a bad traffic moment where like I get hit by a car or something like that. You know what I mean? Like I always like try to look at these things as like, my guardian angel is like trying to push me in some direction because I don't know because of like timing or something like that you know you never know because your guardian angel is invisible so you don't know what she's doing you know <laughs> all right I got my salad I'm just gonna put it in my mailbox and then head out <laughs> this is like my dinner for tonight all right I got that sorted I yeah, anyway, you guys might be wondering <laughs> why I like went out and got this uh, salad first if it's like for my dinner night. Well, the thing is, is that this boulangerie does like the best salads. Like they do like actual veggies, like grilled poivron and like avocado, just like all this really good veggies like mixed together. And if I don't go before like 1 p.m., it's like all sold out. And I love to have that with like my soup especially when I'm sick. And then I throw in a little chocolate cake <laughs> to the mix. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Thank you, Guardian Angel, for saving me from whatever horrible event was going to happen had my card worked the first time. So, yeah. All right, it's a little bit of a gray day, which is fine. Uh, at least it's not raining, that's always what I say. And yeah, let's enjoy it. It's kind of crazy how many, actually like how many subscribers I've met in this park because I come here like almost every day. It's right next to where I live. It's just so gorgy.
at a Poupe Museum, the Museum of the Dolls that I just showed you. I pass in front of this almost like like once a week and every time I, I'm always like, oh, I wish like my grandma could have made it to Paris because she used to collect dolls and she was obsessed, like not obsessed with them, but she like collected them and had like so many beautiful types of dolls and I know that she would really appreciate like a museum for dolls that is like that old. When I was younger, I really wanted a twin doll. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but basically you send in a photo of yourself and they make a doll that looks just like you. And then they send you matching outfits. I still remember like me and the doll had matching white nightgowns. And when I got the doll, I liked it, but it scared me because I like had watched too much Goosebumps and I was afraid that like while I was sleeping, the doll would try to get into my body and then I would be trapped into the doll's body. So I remember like one time I took the doll to my grandma's house and I accidentally left it there and she loved it and took care of it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just remember that being like so afraid of that doll. She even like made like a swing set for her dolls and it, I remember like it hanging in the guest room. <laughs> and when I was younger, yeah, I was like just like afraid of dolls. But now I think they're beautiful. I sens su peace. Ah bon, ah oui, ok. <rire> cool. So I was just like crossing the street and this guy randomly stopped me, like this guy in this really colorful outfit and he asked if I would do like some photos with him. I thought it was like a street style thing. And then I just found myself doing like a whole photo shoot with this like random person. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, life is funny. Life is really fucking funny. Oranges. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I have a crazy idea. I'm just gonna try this. Okay, it kind of looks like shit, to be honest.
Okay, so that was nice at the cafe. <laughs> I didn't have any watercolors, so I started painting with my hot chocolate and like the people next to me were like, what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> it was really funny. So now I'm just walking around. I think that I was thinking about it. It might be like a little bit too early to buy like macaroons for my family because I don't want them to go bad, but I'm keeping my eyes open and like for like gift ideas. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go to buy gifts for other people i always just end up finding stuff for myself oh i need this thing or that thing so yeah i'm trying to be good about that this time because it's very tempting like i passed by this tights shop because i was telling you guys this before but what's weird about france is every like thing that you need for example if you need like picture frames or tights they have their own shop for it and I saw these like really pretty red tights. I was like, oh, I can use those. Or just like different things like that. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just walking around. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. Um, but yeah, I wanna stay out a little bit more because that hot chocolate really packs some sugar in it and I need to like walk it off a little bit. Um, and I need to like walk around a bit. But there's this art show at the Academy de Beaux Arts. So I think, and it's free. So I think I might stop by there because I'm in the neighborhood. Uh, and then tonight there is supposed to be this theater show at the convent in the chapelle for the week of Fierté, it's like Gay Pride Week. So I might go to that, um, but I'm also like still sort of sick, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to, to stay out all day, but we'll see. I was talking to my French friend the other day who isn't from Paris, but she moved here about 20 years ago or so. And she said like, for her, it never gets old, like the charm of the city. And I want to share that because I think there's like this cliche that like Parisians aren't very like in love with living here, but that's actually not true. Like I do find that like a lot of Parisians actually really love <laughs> living in Paris, hence why they are Parisians, you know? And I was thinking about it myself like it never gets old living here like the beauty of it and also i'm so thankful that i get to do youtube because i think that it inspires me to go out and like rediscover the city over and over again so thank you guys for that because <laughs> otherwise like i think it's very tempting to just get like comfortable and to you can just like get you just forget you know en oubli but i really do get to f it's almost like when you have a friend it's like when you live in a big city and you have a friend visiting you from out of state and then you get to show them around and it's like you get to see the city through their eyes and I feel like I get to do that every time that I vlog, you know? And I take you guys around with me. <laughs>
ended up buying it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just like spoke to me. These two little birds. I'm gonna put it in my, I'm gonna put it in my room. Hmm. I stopped at the exposition because it was on my way home and weirdly like I had recognized a lot of those photos from Instagram and so part of me was like well I, I already seen these I don't know I just uh, I saw them bigger obviously but there's a part of me that asks like you know with social media is there really a need to see like these things in person when it it's an image you know what I mean if it's like a actual sculpture or something like that I think like there really is a difference seeing it in person but when it's an image I'm like well I already saw that <laughs> on my screen it's a real question that I don't know I think about also I just wanted to say a lot of you guys asked me um, how to uh, like you guys ask me you guys are like visiting Paris and are asking me like things to do and things like that and I'm just like you guys you know like I have my quartier like I have my neighborhood that I you know do things in and things like that but other than that a lot of times when I'm going out I'll just look at like you know time out Paris or Facebook events and things or things like that to see like what's going on so I guess I would recommend that like time out Paris for like bigger events and then um if not like a lot of the events that i go to i find out because of like facebook like i'll see like mutual friends are going to like this one show so i'll go there and then i have like my like little cafes around my neighborhood that i go to but other than that like i think it's really funny because people think just because like you live in a big city that like you know like all the cool spots but to be honest like i'm not really like a nightlife type person i'm much more of like go hard during the day um, and if I'm gonna go out at night, I like to be at like my friend's houses for like, you know, little aperos or things like that. But I'm not like a big clubber. Like I've never been a big clubber. Um, I'll go out dancing. Like I love going jazz dancing or just like in general dancing is fun, but yeah. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I'm going this way. Well, I guess I'm gonna go head home now. It's almost like 4 p.m. I feel like the day always goes by really quick when I'm out on these little strolls. I'm really happy about the little bird painting that I got. <laughs> it's only five euros. Oh, this is a dead end, <laughs> of course. So I'm gonna walk home. I don't like taking the bus. Like I could just easily walk. So I'm gonna walk home and then I'm gonna work on music because since I'm going home in like two weeks, I really wanna finish like all my demos before I go home because I'm not gonna have like my piano with me or anything. So that way, um, like my producer has them while I'm in the US and we can work on them that way. So I'm gonna do that tonight, I'm gonna edit. <laughs> but I'm really glad that like, I made myself go out because I think it's really easy when you're sick to just like stay inside and I feel like I'm at the end of it anyway. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and let me know if you guys like want to see more like outings like this um let me know you, if you guys have any like special christmas plans i'd love to hear from you and if you want like podcast episodes and meetups i think we're gonna i'm gonna try and organize like a new year's eve meetup in paris 
because I was thinking about that. Like I'm gonna be at my family's house in the US for much of December and then I'm gonna be back um, for like New Year's Eve. And I don't know about you guys, but I really hate, I really hate when you have like pressure to do things on New Year's Eve. And I was like, why don't I spend New Year's Eve with like my Panelist family, you know? So I think I'm gonna try and organize a little um, New Year's Eve meetup. So if you guys are in Paris, I'd love to see you guys there. Um, we also do like Zoom parties and things like that. As well as I have a book out, which uh, would make a great Christmas present if I do say so myself. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. If you made it to the end, leave me a comment that says, hmm, taking time for ourselves. You know, because that's what I feel like I've been really trying to do in these vlogs lately. You know, it's just like enjoying the simple pleasures in life. Like a five euro painting from like this random guy. <laughs> or yeah, like you never know who you're gonna meet. Like I met these random <laughs> like street style people and I don't know. You never know. So yeah, I love you. And I will see you in the next video for the exposition. Fingers crossed that it doesn't rain. Okay, love you. Bye.